Welcome to the vlog. Um, that's my Walmart greeter voice. Just got home. I'm absolutely wrecked. Been running, hit a leg workout, kind of like last week. Feeling like because I'm so close to this half marathon and I'm still doing my workouts, my legs are taking a beating to the point where my knees aren't feeling as good as they should probably for my run today. So instead, we're gonna be busting out this guy. It's been a minute since I've gotten on this bike. You can tell tires are flat, both tires are flat. So we're gonna see if I can pump up the tires. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with them. I'm gonna bust out my old clip-in bike shoes and a biking outfit. And then we're gonna cycle today for about 40 minutes around beautiful St. George. Let's pump the tires and light the fires. Kick the tires and light the fires, Big Daddy. I don't think I'm doing this right. I figured out you need to well, I didn't figure it out. A buddy told me you need to unscrew the top part of the tire just a little bit in order to get air in there. So we're now at about 63 PSI on this one. Nice, we're in business. Oh yeah, it's gonna hold me. Been eating a little bit more. Energy levels have been a little bit better. Shaved my legs today because we all know shaved legs make you run and bike faster. Tires are all pumped up. Now, figure out which one of these has my bike stuff. Here's my helmet, most important part. Keep this noggin uh, healthy. What do we got in here? Ooh, I think we're gonna rock this top. Where we go, this top. Passion comes into play in every sport. Gotta look good, perform good. Oh, this is a must. Spandex. All spandex. Spandex! All spandex! Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to Search and State. You guys will be what I'm wearing today. I need to get some black shoes as well, but we're gonna go with these. Ooh, I didn't know I had some socks. Yes, please. Outfit has been put together. Now it's time to throw it all on. <laughs> Perfect. Take the tires and light the fires. Not gonna lie, I look so much cooler than I actually am. Oh, jeez, I got deodorant on there too. My whole coolness just went out the window. We gotta do it all over again. I got all this get up when I was uh, training for a half try, and then I left the country for like a year traveling around with Morgan. So the burnt orange, the camo, like, tell me I don't look like a freaking cool cyclist. All this stuff is called search and state, all road apparel. So I'm gonna click my little bike and we got a 40 minute ride. Well, or until we lose the light. Oh, oh, oh. Still kind of getting used to the bike. Not gonna lie, there was one time, got a little sketch, turned around, was hopping, hopping, and finally yanked my foot out, but seven and a half miles, about 26 minutes, so. Just getting used to this bad boy again, but I felt a lot better on the knees than pounding pavement, but I like, I like doing that. I think cycling is one of those things that I kind of forgot how much I like doing, but I gotta get better at it, especially if one day I'm gonna do a triathlon, so. I got Chick-fil-A waiting for me at home. I didn't want to ride home because I'm not reflective and I'm all about safety first. But I don't think Morgan's actually ever seen me in this get up. Babe, I'm a cyclist now. Where I go, the bike goes. Oh my God. What is this? What is Who what? gave this to you? This is my biking outfit. No, no, really? It's called Search and State. I didn't even know you had this. You didn't know I had what? Has this been there? It's the been in the time? garage the whole time. Did he give me Chick-fil-A? Yeah. You're married to a biker now. Your bum looks juicy. Right? It's not the big pad diaper. Oh. <laughs> right? 
What is that? That's like a Borat outfit. Hi, you'll never get this. I'm doing I like. I'm doing our niece's Hi. birthday card and birthday present. Oh, shout out to my niece. Shout Where's... out to my wife who looks after my niece. Shout out to my Spells wife my that looks after my niece, that gets me Chick-fil-A, that puts it in my mouth. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh, Steven, that sounded so bad. <laughs> That puts it in my mouth. That honestly sounded like that. Did it sound bad, Christian? <laughs> <laughs> that what puts it in my mouth! This is turning into a rated R rap video! Are those grill nuggets or? No, you didn't ask me. I said grill nuggets, woman! You know what? It's fine. We just biked. Stop! Taste the leather. Stop! <laughs> Are you trying to go on Mach 10 uh, on a bike? You know that scene? <laughs> you know that scene in Top Gun 2? Yeah. Where he hits the burners and yeah. he chases the daylight. Yeah. That was me tonight. I caught up with the okay. sun again and I saved the program. You have a roof over your head tonight because I saved. You are such a liar. Stop. I got my um, my Chick Fil A that my wife got. Jeez, it's crazy to say that my wife. Stephen, you've been saying that for almost two years now. <laughs> Shut up. You're acting like me. But it's just official now. We all just admire Hobbs physique for a second. <laughs> Those, those are my nuggets. Those are my nuggets. Those are my. Oh, your breath is so bad. You're looking staunch, but like not too fat, not too skinny. Just looking good. Hobbs loves a nugget. Oddly enough, you are what you eat. He is shaped <laughs> and looks like a nugget. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's read some comments. Wow, this is a long username. I love this version of yourself trying to manage your strength training and running. We'd love to see you do a collaboration with Nick Bear at some point. I actually, someone from his camp reached out about doing a podcast. I think that that would be a great idea. The guy's an absolute weapon. So yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, I love your videos so lately. So informative. Please give more tips for avoiding knee injuries, suffering from meniscus tear myself. It's frustrating. I mean, obviously knee injuries are one of those things that it's a complex joint, ligaments, tendons, muscle when we start talking about imbalances of quad versus hamstring a lot of times when we overdevelop quad we get knee injuries there is some people out there doing some cool stuff to kind of bulletproof your knees i haven't been doing any of those like because i find in my own training if i'm you know working on the the, the posterior changes as much as that front part of the quad then it kind of takes care of itself um that throwback footage had me nostalgic bring chad back for a workout for the ultimate nostalgia trip chad's a great dude Morgan actually just met him a couple months ago. He's lovely. Um, dude looks amazing. I'd love to have his physique. Always been jealous of his chest. My chest grows so slowly. I've been a fan for like eight plus years. Always inspired me to get into the gym and work hard. That's the, one of the nicest things anyone's ever said to me. No, my chest. That's a lie. <laughs> but, no, I'm saying because my chest, I don't really feel like is, is that great. So I appreciate it. I have a super narrow, like, rib cage area you know so i've had a hard time like i don't have a wide back and a wide chest and that's always been like the area that i wanted more wide um yo steve try magne magnesium glycinate for your sleep 300 to 400 milligrams one hour before bed helps you stay in deep sleep i appreciate that i actually had a mineral supplement it was called calm for a while it was a magnesium supplement i need to get back on doing that because yeah every day when i check my sleep on this I never get enough REM sleep. I'm just, I, I'm stirring a lot. So I actually have a sleep, it's a sleep apnea plus a bunch of other tests scheduled for that. So I just made a video on the same topic. I also love how loyal of a husband you are. You're not even looking at other females when they're trying to get your attention. <laughs> I don't know what you're referring to, but did you watch my latest video? No. Oh. Do I need to? No, I don't think I so. I think so. Damn, sorry to hear about Craig. I still remember that video. Probably one of the cornerstone videos for a lot of your early followers. I Honestly, it's crazy how, I guess, fragile life can be. It's one of those things that's inevitable in life. You know, bad things happen. How do we react to them? And sometimes you can do everything in your power, but life has a way of doing things that you always, you can't explain. You can't, can always make sense of. So definitely one of those things that puts everything in kind of pr perspective. And I always appreciate what he, what he did for me. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. We will be making more of them. Priority number one, get healthy. Priority number two, we're talking about building a house. It's gonna be a 12 to 15 month process. Part of me just wants to get into a house. So a lot of life changes, catching up with everything that we had put on hold taking longer than I would expect it, and I'm not a patient person, so all you can do is what you can do. Just control what you can control, and I think that that's kind of been the biggest thing I have to remind myself of. So I appreciate you guys watching. See you next video.